Good morning students. In the last class, we have seen about the carbohydrates, fats and proteins. And I have given you an exercise, right? Hope you all done that. If you have completed, you can take a snack and send it to our school WhatsApp number. Let's get, it, get into the lesson. The first one that is about vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and the minerals are called protective nutrients. You know why? Because it protects our body from the diseases. There are major difference between the vitamins and minerals. The vitamins which are made by the uh, plants and animals. And the minerals which are come from the soil and water. Let's see some of the important vitamins and minerals. The first one is vitamin A which helps to keep our body healthy and it also keeps uh, to keep a good vision. The major example for the vitamin A is carrot and beetroot. The second one is vitamin C. The vitamin C rich food are lemon and oranges, even cucumbers, which are helps to keep our healthy teeth and also it helps to boost our immune system. The third mineral is calcium that easily present in the milk as well as the egg, which helps to keep our bones and teeth healthy. The fourth one is iron. Iron easily we can found in the sour fruits and the iron which helps to transport the oxygen throughout our body. And next one is sodium. Uh, we can find the sodium in the table salt and which helps to keep our body fluid balanced properly. Let's see some of the advantages of the minerals and vitamins. The first one is vitamins and minerals keeps our body healthy. The second one it helps to maintain our skin, hair and vision bones. Next one it promotes growth in the children. Then it also repairs the damaged cells which is present in our body. The next nutrient is fiber. You know the fiber is present in the whole grains, corn, fruits and vegetables and this fiber which is remains undigested in our body and the fiber which is present in the food which helps to digest the all other food in our body and the, the main duty of the fiber is to clean our stomach, large intestine and small intestine. The next we are going to see about the balanced diet. What is meant by balanced diet? The balanced diet is a daily diet which contains all the nutrients in the right amount is called balanced diet. Let's see some of the uh, benefits of a balanced diet. The first one, it helps to control your weight. Second, it prevents illness. And third one, it keeps you energized. Fourth one, it boosts your immune system. It helps to keep your heart healthy. Next one, it provides all the nutrients in the sufficient level. That's all about today's class. I hope you all understood. So today we learnt about the vitamins, minerals and balanced diet. So let's do an activity. Take 10 different fruits and 10 different vegetables and find out what all the vitamins and minerals present in it. And you, know, you have to note down all your recordings in your science notebook with the proper date. So see you all in the next class. Take care. Bye.